Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I just got done uh, gigging with the MPC Key 61. I really do like that. I really do like that board, and I am actually working on a video now where I talk about the board and go through everything. Um, I did another one when it first came out, uh, but now that I've had it for a while, I really I want to do an update, do another video, so I can tell people my thoughts and uh, what I think. Um, with that said. The reason the reason I want to make this video, you know, this is not really a real video. Whenever I'm in my car, these are just like, you know, off the top of my head. Um, but I wanted to make this video because there's a comment that I see over and over again. I see it over and over again, uh, all over the web, sometimes on my page and stuff like that. And the comment is this, that the MPC Key 61 is nothing more than MPC Live with a keyboard bolted onto it. And I actually disagree with that statement. And it seems like when people make that statement, they're trying to diminish the product that the MPC key is. Most most of the times I see people making that statement, they are people who own an MPC already and they're basically trying to diminish the MPC key. You know, it's it's like a it's like a passive aggressive way of saying my MPC is still better than the MPC key. You know, whatever. And uh, I just I disagree. I think that, you know, all of the MPCs have their different strengths and you know weaknesses and different you know groups of people that are going to be attracted to one versus the other um, but the MPC key is not just an MPC live uh, with a, a cheap MIDI controller uh, bolted onto it or whatever it's 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 more than that right so today I was using the MPC key and uh, I was using it in a live scenario and I was using the touch strip uh, if I did had MPC live MPC live 2 MPC 1 or an MPC X I would not be able to use a touch strip because they don't have one right I, it just they don't have it and then I couldn't get a MIDI controller that's gonna have the touch strip that's going to work with the MPC software so as far as I know you know you, you, there's nothing out there that you're gonna be able to use so that makes it different it has double the RAM so I can I can load projects into the MPC key that are twice the size of the projects that I could load into my MPC one or if I had an MPC X a live or a live two um, you can load projects that are twice the size, which means you can have bigger and plugins and stuff like that at the same time going simultaneously, or you can have more samples or WAV files or whatever. You just get double the storage, uh, double the RAM, and uh, and so that makes it different than all of the other NPCs. It actually also comes with uh, it comes with a 32 gigabytes of SSD storage when you get it from the factory. That's what it comes with from the factory is an SSD that's 32 gigabytes in size. The NBC Live, Live 2, X, you know, uh, all of those, they come with 16. And I believe the NBC One comes with four. So it's not the same. So right out the box, you've got more storage to get going and you can get a whole lot of stuff going before having to buy any kind of other peripherals and stuff like that and start thinking about storage. Um, so you, you get double that. It has XLR, uh, XLR jacks, XLR um, quarter inch combo jacks on the back that have 48 volt phantom power. So I can take my studio microphone, my condenser mic, I can plug it into my MPC key and I can record my vocals and stuff like that. And I don't need anything else in order to do that. You can't do that with MPC Live or the MPC Live 2 or the MPC 1. You can do it with the MPC X. Keep in mind the MPC X costs more than the MPC key. So having that condenser mic that I can plug in, a, an actual professional studio mic. If you got a Neumann whatever, you can plug it into the MPC key and record your vocals. So you can rap over top of your beats or sing over top of your songs or whatever they, whatever it is that you're doing, you can do using that uh, that Phantom Power. And it's got, it's, got, uh, it's got two of them as well. So, you know, even that is going to be, you know, that's you don't get that same functionality. I believe it has more CV and gate uh, jacks than the MPC Live. Well, the MPC Live, I don't think it has any. It has more than the MPC One, and I think the MPC Live 2 has like four, I think. Uh, so it's got more, you know, connectivity for your, your modular gear and stuff like that. Um, I mean, so there's just some very key differences. It's got more buttons than the MPC Live, the MPC Live 2, and the MPC One for an enhanced workflow. So you get more buttons. Um, when you're trying to work and you're getting your workflow and stuff like that, it makes a difference. One of the main complaints that people had about the MPC Live, just not enough buttons. Um, and it can kind of mess up your workflow. MPC key, it's got more buttons than all of them, except for the MPC X, which of course, again, costs more. The MPC key 61 comes bundled with all the Fabric XL, you know, the Fabric and all, you know, all those plugins and stuff 
that you know you've seen people have been playing and stuff recently and stuff online when they play the NPC Key 61. It comes bundled with that. If you have the other NPCs, it's not bundled. You have to buy that separately, right? And then not only that, but the key bed itself. Like some people don't see a value in the key bed, and most people I see saying, "Oh, you know, it's just bolted on." Most of those people, except for a few exceptions, most of the people are not keyboard players. So the keys, having keys is not as valuable or important to them. And I would probably recommend for those people, you buy a different NPC or you do just get a MIDI controller. If you, if, if you need to just bring in keys every now and then to lay a few chords or do something really simple and then move it out the way and then you're back to the pads and back to doing what you do, then the NPC key is not for you. But every NPC is not for every customer. I remember when the NPC one was coming out, people who own the X and the Live were complaining about how anemic and all the stuff the NPC one didn't have. Well, when Akai came out with NPC One, they didn't come out with it so a bunch of NPC X and a bunch of NPC Live owners would buy it. They know, of course, there's going to be some overlap. There are going to be people who do have the other NPCs and they will buy it, but that wasn't their target customer. They specifically said they were going after new beat makers, people who were just coming into the Akai NPC um, ecosystem. That's who they made it for. They wanted it at a price point that you know wasn't so high that people would take a chance and buy it. That's exactly what I did. That's how I got into the system. But when I first saw the videos and stuff coming out on that, people were really bashing it and talking about it didn't have Bluetooth, doesn't have a battery, doesn't have this, doesn't have that. Like, you know, it's not for you, right? So the NPC key is not for everyone. The NPC X is not for everyone. The NPC Live is not for everyone. But something I can do is I can look at the NPC Live. I don't have the NPC Live. I don't have an NPC Live 2. I've never owned one. But I could look at them and say, Wow, it's really cool that those have rechargeable batteries and stuff on the inside. And uh, all you need is the unit. You don't need to be plugged into anything. You just take the unit. You can go on your couch, make your beats. Do what you need to do. The NBC Live 2, you don't even need headphones. It's got a speaker already on there. So, I mean, I mean, there's something to be said for that, even if I don't need it, right? But I don't diminish the product because it's not something, because it's not something I need, right? Nobody says about the NPC, about the NPC X. Nobody says the NPC X is just the NPC one with a larger screen and bigger pads, or an NPC one is just an NPC X with a smaller screen and smaller pads. Like nobody says that because the NPC X got more buttons. The NPC X has the XLR jacks and stuff on the back. The NPC X doesn't just have yes has larger screen has the larger buttons has more q links uh has larger screen and larger pads but has more q links and stuff like that it's for real-time control you don't have to hit a button to cycle through them and stuff like and it sits on the desk it's you know it's a different product the npc key is a different product and there are keyboard players that own Roland phantoms yamaha motifs uh or whatever right traditional like workstations and stuff like that there are keyboard players that are now looking at the npc platform that never looked at it before because they just saw the npc line of products as just beat boxes for people who make hip-hop music or dance music that's all they that's all they could really envision for npc and they never even looked at it but now that akai has come out with a keyboard you got keyboard players looking at it and saying, hey, what does it have to offer? There are people who are actually frustrated with the new Roland Phantom and how the new Roland Phantom doesn't have a linear sequencer on it. Uh, yes, it's a 16 track, you know, pattern sequencer and whatnot, but you know, it doesn't have a full sampler on board. You know, it's just like, you know what I mean? It doesn't have any audio tracks that you can record. And you know, like the old Roland Phantom G did have a lot of those features. It had 128 track sequencer and stuff. Now, so people are looking at it and saying, you know, this is not really the standalone device, the standalone device that I really wanted. And maybe I'll take a look at the NPC key. Um, they may not buy it, but they're actually paying attention. It got their attention. It's getting a new customer. So I don't understand the whole, oh, it's just NPC Live, you just bolt it on. No, it's got more memory than NPC Live and Live 2 X. It's got, you know, it comes comes bundled with more software. You got XLR jacks with you know 48 volt power and stuff on the back. Like, come on, it's 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 not the same. So I can appreciate the NPC Live and the NPC Live 2 and the NPC X for what they are, even though I don't own them and I never bash them. It would be nice to see, hey, other people who own NPC gear, not looking at the keyboard saying, oh, all that, all I get, all you gotta do is buy a MIDI controller. I mean, that's 
it's just not the case. And if you're going to buy a media controller, you're going to spend quite a bit of money to get something with good aftertouch and good response and the same amount of travel and stuff like that that the NPC key keyboard has. You know, you can't go out and get the cheapest MIDI controller out there because it will certainly not measure up to the NPC key. But anyway, that's it. I've got a full length video coming on the NPC key. We're going to talk about it, but it's just something I wanted to get off my chest. Uh, we don't have to, you don't have to diminish the product in any way and say, oh, you know, NPC Live and a, and a controller, same thing. Yes, you get a lot of the same functionality because they're both NPCs, but the same thing can be said between the one and the X but nobody calls them the same. All right, so anyway, those are my thoughts, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know what your comments are or your thoughts are in the comment section below. And uh, that's it. See you guys on the next real video. Have a good one.